Bienvenidos a Puerto Rico. Today we are going to be exploring the port of San Juan. So whether it's your first time here or you've been here a few times, we're going to talk about some great things to see, some great things to eat, and what you should do while you are visiting here on your port day. Now let's get started. Today we're in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and we're going to show you an overall guide of things that you can do when you are here in San Juan for a port day. First thing to note is if you are visiting San Juan and your ship is leaving from San Juan, this is going to be a completely different terminal. So right here where we are, this is where if the San Juan, um, Puerto Rico is on your itinerary and you're stopping just for the day. One thing to keep in mind when you are ported here for a port day in San Juan is that you need to bring a government ID when you come off. When we travel, we like to keep our passports in our room, but we do bring our U.S. driver's license. When you get off the ship, this is what the port area looks like just outside of where the ships are. You're going to have people walking around offering last minute tour options. And then there is a taxi stand. Now San Juan is walkable, but there are a lot of hills. So what I recommend is, especially if it's hot, taking a taxi up to where kind of El Muro is and then coming back down there. So make sure you're wearing great shoes. As you can see, the roads here are quite bumpy, lots of cobblestone action. Of course, when you're visiting San Juan and you pull into port, you are going to pull past Castillo San Felipe del Muro, which is an absolute must if you are here for the first time. The fort, the cemetery down there, there's so much to see. Here's some information on ticketing prices. But if it's your first time, even, even if it's your second time and you maybe haven't gone through it fully, make sure you give it a chance. This little plaza is called Plaza del Quinto Centenario and there's normally fountains right over here. Olivia's played in those a few times so hopefully they're on when you come here. But this is an absolutely beautiful place to be and walking distance of course to El Murro. There are so many amazing places to see right in this area of old San Juan. There's Casablanca, which is one of the homes of Ponce de Leon. And right around the corner from where we were right here, when you walk down these beautiful streets, is the Museo de San Juan. Just walking around old San Juan is incredible. There's so many photo opportunities like the flag door, the beautiful colored buildings. There's so many places to see and as well, there's so many great places to eat and drink. I do have a DIY bar crawl for old San Juan that highlights some of my favorite places to get a quick snack and a drink. The link to my article will be down below in the video on my channel. I know you're dying to find out where I got this beautiful cocktail. Another fun stop is Plaza de Armas. There's beautiful fountains, lots of places to eat around here, and it's free. So behind me and in front of me is Portaleza Street. When in San Juan, and a lot of people come here for shopping. Sometimes over the streets down here, there's different art installations. If you Google, you'll see the umbrellas, a long hanging Puerto Rican flag. Um, definitely a must check out and take a gander, especially if you're souvenir shopping. Part of the beauty, like I mentioned earlier, of old San Juan is just walking around and looking at the beautiful architecture. However, this is one of my things that you must try, Senor Paleta. Go get yourself an ice cream bar. They have dairy-free fruit versions. Oreo. Absolutely delicious. So I normally always get the Ferrero Rocher, but the mango just looked really good. From this area across from Senor Paleta, you can get beautiful views of the ship and old San Juan down by the port area. It is an absolute must stop, and right here is my favorite street. One of, one of the amazing things about walking around Old San Juan is you're going to see ruins all over the place. There are so many great free things to do. However, if you're looking for an organized tour, these are some of the ones that we recommend. We have vetted them. We give them to some of our clients that book with us at Travel with a Flare. We've been here a multitude of times and have done a ton of tours and didn't have a nice camera like this now. So I hope you can check those out. I did want to take some time and mention a couple things that you have to try when you are in San Juan when it comes to food. Number one, of course, is mofongo. This is hands down quintessential San Juan. It's made with plantains. I couldn't find a good picture of mine. I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea. 
I've had it with shrimp. It is really, really good. Another thing that you must try if you are a foodie in San Juan is a chipletas three meat sandwich or come here to the La Casita and get the wings. If you are in San Juan late night, this is a great place to get dinner on the water. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked these tips. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.